Hello friends, welcome to my Royal Family News Channel. Before moving on to the video, if you are not subscribed to my channel, do not forget to subscribe and turn on notifications, so let's move on to the video. Do you know the number of suns there are? Yes, I do. There is the sun high up in the sky, and there is the other lovely shining sun observing this video. So, today's video topic revolves around a significant prophecy concerning the future life of Harry and Meghan. Will sunlight brighten their path, or will darkness prevail? In the past, I harbored doubts, but now I am starting to wish for Donald Trump to become the next US president. Do you know why? What connection does Mr. Trump have with the current subject matter? Not only is it pertinent to our ongoing discussion, but also very crucial and relevant. The focus now shifts to the fate of Harry and Meghan Markle. Before delving into this, I'd like to emphasize that Donald Trump represents the American empire, where hardship is often associated only with drug addicts, is a billionaire, a businessman, and formerly held the position of the 45th president of the United States. He is undoubtedly affluent. However, recently his reputation has taken a negative turn. There was an incident where he slapped a music teacher, deeming the teacher incompetent. Consequently, he was summoned to the headmaster's office for a discussion. I must admit, his persistent nature intrigued me, there was something about his stubbornness that I found appealing. Nevertheless, everyone has their share of childhood troubles, don't they? Moving on, the issue at hand today brings us back to the topic. The widely known news is that Harry and Meghan left the UK to reside in the US, enjoying a pleasant life under the Biden administration, right? It is being speculated that should President Joe Biden remain in office, the Duke and the Duchess, with the protection of Mr. Biden, will lead a very comfortable life, perhaps even better. However, the reality of the world we live in dictates that justice must prevail for actions and consequences. Those who engage in wrongful deeds do not deserve a life of comfort. Biden might leverage Harry's misdeeds for his gain while Trump could not have. If Trump were president, he wouldn't allow Harry and Meghan an easy hold on power. In fact, he might expel Harry from the US and bar their return to the UK. They may need to relocate far away, perhaps Africa, to start anew, leaving many in suspense about their actions. Prince Harry has officially changed his primary residence from the UK to the US, retroactively dating it to the day King Charles evicted him and Meghan from Frogmore Cottage uh, on June 29 of last year. Charles stated, just return the keys and leave. Are we supposed to believe that she needs American residency just to sell coffee and jam? No. So, what could be the real reason behind their address change? Could it be something that the media is prohibited from discussing? I don't think it would be wise to assume that the issue of the invisible children has simply disappeared. The palace has been in communication with online anti Meghan Markle groups for months inquiring about why there are two children included in the line of succession whom no royal has ever acknowledged. I've been informed by reliable sources and journalists that Charles, Camilla, William, Catherine, and other members of the royal family will never publicly admit to having met the children. Despite being asked whenever the opportunity arose, the response always remained consistent, absolute silence. So, the palace is probably in a panic right now considering how this facade will hold up as the children grow older. Perhaps the simplest solution to this chaos is to have Harry and Meghan settle permanently in the US and never return to the UK. Some are even speculating about a potential arrangement with the American president. It has been confirmed that Harry is granted special protection under Joe Biden for his US residency. To emphasize this, Jane Hartley, the US ambassador to the UK, assured that Harry would not face deportation under a Biden administration. Despite Harry's past drug use acknowledgments, it seems he is permitted to stay in America. Negotiations between the palace and U.S. authorities could secure Harry's stay in the country, where both of his children reside. However, if Donald Trump were to become the next president, significant changes could occur. Considering the status of the royal family as public figures, Transparency is crucial regarding the information made available to the public. 
Perhaps it's also worth questioning the whereabouts of the unseen children living in California. This situation raises concerns about accepting individuals into positions of power without prior knowledge about them, the palace shouldn't be discussing invisible children. That's a matter for Harry and Meghan to handle, it's their private affair. Their deceit has led to this situation, with increasing pressure due to the royal family's silence. They are being urged to finally come clean. I also seek clarification on their tax situation. Are they at least fulfilling their U.S. tax obligations? There is a section on tax forms for listing dependents. Let's discuss potential tax irregularities. I doubt they intend to provoke the IRS. The IRS has a long memory, unparalleled reach, and unique tactics for uncovering the truth. Perhaps this serves as a way to verify if the children truly belong to them. It's rather amusing to consider that if a country hasn't taxed you, it's like you're paying rent for another country. The UK is Harry's homeland, where he was born and raised. Yet, he abandoned it when Meghan's influence took hold of him. It seems he now pays taxes in America. What a betrayer. However, I suspect the people of the UK may find solace in knowing that Harry and Meghan no longer reside there. Nobody was in need of more like them. I wonder if anyone still believes in the law of cause and effect nowadays. I wholeheartedly believe in it, believe in it wholeheartedly. I anticipate that one day, karma will catch up with Harry and Meghan, they will bear the full weight of their obligations, and then they will inquire about the palace's condition, has it been significantly impacted? This raises the question, could this be causing concern for Harry and Meghan afterward? Perhaps that's a valid inquiry but it appears that the palace is not currently in a state of panic. However, Harry and Meghan may have reason to be concerned. If a problematic situation were to occur involving a person close to the throne, DNA testing would be conducted regarding surrogacy. If the palace is privy to the truth, then why be concerned? It is regrettable that US citizens must tolerate those two individuals, but the palace is focused on a long-term strategy. Harry and Meghan seem to be increasingly irrelevant with each passing day, which may be causing distress for the duo. The palace is maintaining its silence because it is beneficial for them. Whenever these two individuals appear in the news, there is never a response from the royal family, which is quite surprising. Harry, in my opinion, does not seem too concerned. To be candid, there is a possibility that Trump could be re-elected. I had considered the potential for his return. While Boris Johnson may also make a comeback, last week marked a significant moment as Harry was finally denied. He sought to reinstate his royal protection, but instead, he has been instructed to cover 90% of the expenses. It's likely close to a million pounds. Harry might be wealthy now, but not extravagantly so. The monarch has already distanced themselves from him with princess and overseeing all inheritances as the executor. Harry appears to be consumed by the present, unable to think beyond the next fix due to his drug addiction. Biden's statement about Harry not facing deportation may have prompted him to claim U.S. residency. Yet, he refuses counsel, even from Meghan. Those reassuring him that his troubles are temporary will likely be proven wrong. The confidence they have in their victory is unfounded. Harry's belief that his princely status grants him impunity from the law is misguided. His removal as a counselor of state is another sign of his diminishing influence. As the palace edges Harry and Meghan out, they unwittingly serve its agenda, exposing their deceit and manipulation. The truth is emerging, with power firmly in the palace's hands. The issue of the children remains unanswered, raising more questions. Though there are no new revelations currently, providing answers and evidence could greatly impact many lives. While forgiveness may be difficult, the palace must not condone treachery and deception. When individuals are virtuous, they bear a responsibility to uncover falsehoods and bring them to light. Recall the polo match where Meghan Markle was expected to be seen with baby Archie in an unattractive, oversized green dress there exists a photo of Harry gazing affectionately at whatever she is holding. What could it be, then? 
Catherine was also present. Can we genuinely believe that she was strolling around with Archie cradled in her arms like that, or was it a doll? There is something unsettling about that image. Allegedly, the child did not move at all while being carried, akin to a lifeless weight. Moreover, the sun was reportedly beating down directly on what appeared to be the baby's exposed head. Reportedly a few months old, the infant supposedly remained completely still without any signs of restlessness. At that age, this behavior is considered unusual. Babies at that age are typically active, bringing their hands to their mouths and only beginning to vocalize after a few hours of being fed. In warm conditions, a baby requires more frequent feeding to prevent dehydration. Notably, Megan is purportedly breastfeeding, yet she is attired in a wholly unsuitable dress for breastfeeding throughout the day. Catherine ensured to keep her distance. She did not even acknowledge the baby, which is out of character for her, normally, I adore infants. However, after having my own children, I find those images unnatural. Infants are not rigid all the time, particularly when there are distractions around them. They naturally want to explore their surroundings and exhibit startle reflexes. They instinctively react to loud noises or the sensation of being dropped. The manner in which she was holding the baby seemed precarious. Harry and Meghan persist in deceiving others, yet their lack of intelligence hinders them from keeping track of their falsehoods. Their deeds consistently contradict their words. Perhaps they should consider enrolling in an online course or enhancing their professionalism. They come across as complete fools. That's it for our video my friends, I hope you have liked it, please let me know your thoughts in the comments, and like the video. If you haven't done so yet if you want to be first to be informed about my content, please subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn on notifications. Thank you for spending this time with me, take care of yourself and stay healthy, I'll see you in the next one.